piece of military history on display. A reminder of the Kinmen Island's violent past. Kinmen native Honor Nee remembers his childhood vividly. My house was hit by artillery shells. Kinmen is a front line in the conflict between communist China and democratically ruled Taiwan. The islands are just a few kilometers from China's southern coastal city of Xiamen and about an hour's flight from Taiwan. Because of geography, we're almost one with China's Xiamen. We're very close physically, so of course we have a more Chinese way of thinking and affection toward China. Most residents identify themselves as Kimanese or Chinese, not Taiwanese. That includes Ni, who served in the army for the Kuomintang, or KMT, China's former ruling government. In the 5,000 years of Chinese history, dynasties have changed too many times. That's not important. What's important is that we need to return to our roots. On August 23, 1958, when Ni was three years old, communist forces started bombarding Kinmen with intense artillery fire, and KMT forces on the island returned fire. The artillery fire came suddenly, so people who lived in the hills would dig holes in the ground and hide in them. What's now known as the 823 Artillery War continued for 44 days. After the bombardment ended, the communist government and the KMT agreed to shell each other on alternate days. That lasted 20 years. When I was young, I would hide in a bomb shelter, light a candle, and eat dinner at night. The shelling ended when the U.S. switched diplomatic recognition from the government in Taiwan to that of communist China. Now tourists replace KMT troops inside military bunkers. Most Kinmen residents still support the KMT. Ouyang Zhengyi is one of the few exceptions. While he considers himself Kinmenese, he voted for the incoming president Lai Qingde of Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP. He's more reliable and also more trustworthy. Most DPP supporters identify as Taiwanese and want to distance themselves from China. But KMT supporters want closer ties. In order for residents on Kinmen to get to the China side, they would currently have to take a ferry. Many of the island residents prefer a bridge built between the two cities, but the DPP government is opposed to the idea, citing national security risks. Chinese leader Xi Jinping in his 2024 New Year's speech said Taiwan and China will surely be reunified. Many in Kinmen say they want unification, but they define it differently. I want to emphasize when I say unification, I don't mean for Taiwan to be unified with communist China. It would be them being unified with us. It could take 50 years or 100 years, and if we communicate, there won't be a fight. Many residents say if China attacks Taiwan, Kinmen will be the safest spot. Kinmen citizens are not worried about the safety issue at all because our roots come from over there. With such feelings of kinship common on the islands, residents say they don't believe China would attack a member of the family. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Kinmen, Taiwan.